points. Okay, it's not like the more you write, you are guaranteed higher points. Okay, it's a case of whether you had enough time for the last two questions. By the way, do you know how much time for your last two questions? Eight marks plus 10 marks, 18 marks. You need at least 35 to 40 minutes. Ideally, 40 minutes. Okay? So that's uh, telling you to uh, save some time for the last two. Mm. Okay, so first, we need to identify what a public good is. Second, okay, we need to know what are the implications. Okay? This is the second I. The implications of non-rivalry. Okay. The implications are that the marginal cost of serving one more consumer is zero. Marginal cost of serving one more person is zero. Okay. Please note that it's serving one more consumer. It's not the marginal cost of producing one more unit. It is not. Some students think, ah, the marginal cost of producing one more street light is zero. It is not. Okay? We are saying once you have installed the street light, another person can walk down. It doesn't cost them extra. It doesn't cost LTA or PUB extra. Okay? For allocative efficiency, P equals to MC, right? P equals to MC, which now equals to zero. Okay? Because MC is zero, so P equals to MC equals to zero. But private producers, they don't care about AE. They will not charge zero price, okay? They will not charge zero price. Therefore, AE is lost. Step by step. Do you follow this? Mm, okay, yeah. Oh, good, huh? <laughs> Some students think that, oh, because it's non-rivalry, it results in a missing market. No. Missing market is because of non-excludability. Non-excludability, if I don't pay, you cannot exclude me. So there is a free rider problem. No one wants to pay. I'll wait for my neighbor to pay. You install the street lighting. I will enjoy the illumination. Free rider problem, there is no willingness to pay. When there's no willingness to pay, there is no effective demand. When there is no effective demand, there is no price signal. No demand curve to intersect your 